Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. As you probably know, we post content daily. So if you'd like to show your support, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on. But also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. Sitting at 11 million subscribers on YouTube, James Charles is not some average makeup artist, let alone an average male makeup artist. James first started posting his outright crazy makeup tutorials on YouTube, all the way back while he was still in high school, only to become CoverGirl's first ever cover boy in 2016, when he was only 17 years old. Soon enough, James became an overnight sensation after he insisted on retaking his high school yearbook photo so that his cheekbones would be properly accentuated. The yearbook photo immediately went viral and James eventually became one of the most popular beauty vloggers in the industry. Being a boy in a female industry catapulted to stardom certainly isn't smooth sailing and doesn't come without any bumps on the road. From racism controversy to Twitter drama and other feuds, these are 10 untold truths of James Charles. There's no denying that James has some mad skills with a makeup brush, which probably has something to do with the fact that he was so into art since an early age. Still, even though most people know him for his cosmetic skills nowadays, not everyone knows that he didn't grab a makeup brush straight away when he was a kid, as he started out in the more traditional mediums, like drawing and painting, before branching out and experimenting by painting on his friends' backs. I'm a super creative person and have always loved drawing and painting since I was super young, but makeup was a new avenue for me. He said and added that he used to draw portraits of celebrities, so he has always had a love for beautiful faces. Whatever medium James used to channel his creativity, it's obvious that he's super talented. It's super rare that somebody excels at something on their first attempt, but James turned out to be one of those rare cases. Even though he really loves art and has a thriving career thanks to makeup today, the idea of using his skills in that matter never occurred to him back in the day. As a matter of fact, he entered the beauty world thanks to hairstyling, as he was pretty much into it thanks to his dad, who showed him how to braid hair when he was just a kid. He didn't even think about cosmetics, but everything changed one fateful day when his friend came to her hair appointment. She was late for her makeup appointment and asked James to do her makeup, so he agreed but asked her not to tag him on that Instagram picture if it ends up looking awful. However, the look turned out so well that the girl posted a picture and everyone went crazy about it. Amazed with his newly discovered passion, James realized that he wanted to keep doing that, so he switched gears, ordered a basic starter set online and started practicing on clients and the rest is history. Considering his age, it doesn't come as a surprise that James accidentally revealed a thing or two that he really shouldn't have, which caused some controversy. After being contacted by a certain company, James took to Twitter to share his impressions, saying I just got an email from a huge brand asking me to include 5 of their products if I was doing a holiday gift guide and when I told them my rates, they literally told me they had no budget. Respect is a two-way street. When are brands going to realize that we don't work for free? With one tweet, James single-handedly and unwittingly exposed beauty YouTube's worst kept secret by revealing that he only posts brand sponsored videos. Most of his fans congratulated him for speaking out, but others immediately jumped at him, demanding to clarify if he recommends products he loves or just products he's paid to promote. And asking if the company did pay him, would it still be an honest review or does them paying make him feel like he can't talk badly about their product? James eventually did try to get out of the line of fire, saying that he only does a limited amount of sponsored posts, but for some it was too little too late. Admittedly, in a fast-paced and hectic world of the internet, people don't always think before they do or say something, especially if they're really young celebrities who were suddenly thrust into the spotlight. We have seen this happen to numerous YouTubers and just like the rest of them, James found himself in hot waters after making an intensive joke about Africa. Even though James never really had a problem voicing his opinion on social media, the controversial and now deleted tweet in which he said, I can't believe we're going to Africa today, oh my god, what if we get Ebola, immediately caused serious backlash. 
His fans were so outraged that they called for CoverGirl to drop Charles as a spokesperson, pointing out the ignorance behind the problematic statement, which prompted James to delete the tweet. Ultimately, he apologized, saying that he knows very little and has a lot to learn, adding that he was told what to say, and that's not how an apology should work. After acknowledging that his words were offensive and degrading, and stating that it was never his intent to offend anyone, he added that he had handled the situation poorly by choosing to erase his comments, instead of taking responsibility for them. After the incident, CoverGirl released a statement saying that James Charles' tweet does not represent CoverGirl's perspective, but they kept him as a brand ambassador nonetheless. Apparently James has a thing for Twitter drama, and he found himself in the middle of a controversy when he got into a big feud with Finn Wolfhard, one of the stars of the IT movie. When he went to see the movie, James felt like tweeting his impressions would be in order, so he started with a now deleted tweet that said, OK, 5 minutes in and IT is already awful, stay tuned for updates. This obviously didn't sit well with Finn, who shot back at James, asking why he was on his phone in the movie theater to begin with. After the movie ended, James wanted to address all the drama and apologized to the movie star on Twitter, saying that even though the movie was fantastically well made, it just wasn't his cup of tea. As if that wasn't enough, James then uploaded a Pennywise makeup tutorial on his channel, saying that you don't have to like a movie to do makeup from it, which triggered yet another IT star, Wyatt Olaf. In frustration, Olaf took to Twitter and posted, When you decide to exploit a movie that you hate for money and attention, cause why not? Even Shane Dawson pitched in, asking James not to make another uber apology video. I do not deserve this many good things he said, to which James assured him that he wasn't planning on saying he was sorry again because his followers asked him for it makeup tutorial. As a young man catapulted to stardom, James was bound to see the downside of popularity and experience the harsh reality that there are people out there willing to piggyback on his success and exploit him for his fame. Early on in his career, he tweeted about an unsettling experience he had with someone he was interested in, as the guy asked him to tweet about their potential relationship in order to gain more followers on social media. This wasn't the only time such thing has happened though, as James eventually revealed that he's had guys expressed interest in him only in order to show their friends that they were talking to a celebrity. It is definitely not the easiest thing in the world to talk to guys, or really anybody because you never know who's really your friend," James said, and while he obviously did learn a valuable lesson then, he did in fact tweet about the entire thing that went on with that guy, so ultimately, he kinda did him a favor. The beauty community went crazy when the news about James' incredible senior yearbook photos that made him a star being fake broke out. Thomas Halbert, one of James' longtime friends from before the YouTube days, revealed that James edited the viral yearbook photo so that his makeup would appear more extreme. The friend tweeted out screenshots of a text chain between him and Charles, where Charles admitted that the photos were faked. Halbert made it clear that James emailed the yearbook company asking if he could edit his photos, and that he scammed social media into thinking he retook his yearbook photos. Even though the controversial tweets were eventually deleted and Halbert apologized, the word that the very same photos that propelled James to stardom are fake was already out. Regardless of how ridiculous it may sound, James also managed to get into drama with none other than Kim Kardashian. After working with her as one of the fortunate few beauty influences handpicked by Kim to help her launch KKW, a beauty line, their relationship eventually took a turn for the worse. When Kim took to Twitter to post a casting call for models that were meant to be featured in KKW campaigns, James called her out on the fact that the casting call was open to women only. There are thousands of boys in cosmetics who love you and I'm sure would be honored to slay a photo shoot for you. This is disappointing, he said in a tweet. Some people out there are still getting used to guys being involved in what is considered to be a strictly female dominated industry, and James has seen a fair share of negativity and skepticism directed at him by his haters. Despite that, he is happy to be the first male cover girl spokesmodel, but his mother had to take up on calling out trolls on social media. Obviously, James is getting a kick out of it as he gave his mom a special shout out on Twitter when he posted a screenshot of her firing back at one of the trolls. Considering just how awesome his makeup looks are, it's hard to believe that James is actually legally blind. 
Even though he doesn't see much without contact lenses, wearing them can often be a pain as his eyes eventually start to feel pretty dry. He doesn't let his poor eyesight slow him down however, as he has gotten used to it and even turned it into his advantage, as he often uses colored contact lens to complete his looks. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.